Okay, so first of all, I want to apologize for all the banging on the roof. Um, if you can see through here, there's a lot of people here. We're actually putting a roof on right now. So Andy's got some work friends and some family members out there doing that. Um, so I apologize if you can hear that. I don't know if you can or not, but anyways. So the chickens are almost all hatched. Um, it looks like there's only one more to go. And uh, many of them are starting to be completely dry. So I'm gonna put together their new home, which is gonna be this box from my job at Trader Joe's. <laughs> and um, put some nice fresh pine wood shavings in here, which you can get from Fleet Farm. And it's got this nice removable bottom, which is perfect for the chicks because I can clean it easier. Um, and then I got this machine here, the Thermo Poultry Brooder. A lot of people actually use um, those heat lamps and they're just very dangerous. They can catch on fire and obviously since this is in my house, I don't want the house to burn down. So I got this, um, which is formulated for chicks and it's got an adjustable base. So right now it'll be on the lowest height so they stay the warmest they can. Um, but as they grow up, obviously it's going to have to be raised so they can still fit under here. Now, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be big enough, you guys. I got the small one because it's really expensive. Can you believe? This thing was like $70. $70 for that tiny little heat plate. So, and we, so far we have 11 chicks in here. 11. And there's another one to hatch. So, I'm a little worried that they're not all going to be able to fit under here. So I do, you know, I'm gonna leave the flaps on so I can close it a little bit like this so it'll trap the heat a little bit more. Um, but obviously like a heat plate doesn't really give heat into this space and it's actually surprisingly cold today, of course. So the house is pretty darn cold and I'm a little worried about them, but I don't really know what to do. I mean, I don't, I guess I could get another heater, but. That would be another $70, and I don't really have that kind of money right now, so we'll just see how it goes with this. Um, so I got these tiny little chick-sized water and feeder here. So I'm gonna put those in there, and I'm gonna put my heater in there, and then we'll be all set for those chicks to start growing. I'll take out the pieces here and get this started so it's ready for them. They're not ready yet though. Um, that one that was struggling did finally hatch um, late, late last light, last night. Um, but she's still not dry, so I don't know if she's gonna make it. She seems kind of weak and slow compared to the others, um, which obviously we knew that. There's definitely some kind of problem with that chick. Doesn't mean she won't survive, but you know I'm prepared for it to not survive. So. <clears throat> um, there's only so much you can do, you know. This is our first time making chicks, so I'm surprised that I even have 11 that hatched because <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. So, that's it. Anyways, alright, so I'm gonna get this underneath everything. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be. Like I said, I've never done it before. <laughs> through and hold the camera at the same time. It was fun. It was possible. Alright, so put it through the sides like that. Put in the lowest holes. I did say that there was a tip to it, but I don't know if I really need that function. not too worried about different sized chicks because they're all born at the same time practically. Okay, so sorry. There we go. So now it's all put together. And put it in the corner. So they're nice and warm. I mean, 
<clears throat> they're gonna be pretty jam packed in here to be honest. This is gonna be tight. It's gonna be very tight. I have my feeder right here in the corner. And the water right there. I mean that's enough room for eleven chicks though. Should be fine. Alright, so now I just have to make a hole in the corner there to put this through. Although you know what? I could actually feed it right through the end here because they've this box <laughs> conveniently already has a hole. Look at that. You don't have to cut anything. Thanks, Trader Joe's. <laughs> For all of your chicken needs, just go to Trader Joe's and Fleet Farm. Because, yeah, Fleet Farm has all this cool stuff. So, yeah, there we go. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Look at that. It was like it was meant to be. Cool. All right, so now I'm just going to fill up my feeder here. Take it out. That is in the basement. Wow, that banging is really loud. <laughs> they are making so much progress, though, I can't even believe it. It looked like they had most of the stuff off the roof already, which is crazy. They've only been working for about maybe two and a half hours. So once again, from Fleet Farm, we have organic, nature smart, non-GMO chick starter feed. Woohoo! So, yeah, 20% protein, so they grow a little faster. Instructions. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to wet it or anything. I, I thought maybe you'd have to wet it because <clears throat> they're just babies, but. Um, Apparently they can just go ahead and start eating it, which is cool. They do say that you should put it, scatter it on the ground first so they get into the idea of like knowing it's food and whatever. But with those pine shavings, I don't know if that's gonna work. You know what I could do though? I could put a little newspaper in there on top of the shavings and just sprinkle a little down there just until they understand um, what exactly this is. In fact, I think I'm gonna do that I'll just put this on top of a little little bit of newspaper or magazine. That's all I have is like ads from from the mail, <laughs> um, and then you know just scattered around there so that they get used to the idea. It's okay. It's just the basement. <laughs> Who cares? All right. So this is the brand that we use for all of our chickens. Nature Smart by Neutrina. Thank you, Neutrina, for making an organic food. There's not a lot of organic feeds out there, certainly not in this area. Um, I know there are some online, but many of those places don't have anywhere to <clears throat> to carry the product in Wisconsin. So you have to get food from very far away, and then the shipping is just astronomical to, to get it to you. So this is literally our only option that I know of in our area. If you guys know of something better in Wisconsin, let me know. Um, I certainly don't want to have to travel hours for feed. I know some people do, but this seems to be serving us pretty good. So as long as it's available, you know, who knows if it'll remain available. I guess depends on if enough people keep buying it. But, um, but it served us well. So that's the food that we use. This is going to get messy, y'all. Um... Anything oh, you know what? Here we go. Andy recently had a 40th birthday. Hey! <laughs> so I will just use that as a little server cup. Thanks, Andy. That way I won't make as much of a mess here. It's still gonna make a mess. Whatever. It's fine. It's the basement, right? Who cares?
these chicks are gonna eat a lot of food, y'all. Since they're growing and there's 11 of them, soon to be 12, maybe even more, you never know. I did see one that, you know, looked like it was maybe gonna hatch. Um, but the other ones I think might be stillborn. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if I should just wait the day. I should probably just wait before I just give up. Um, I don't know. Like I said, this is my first time doing this, you guys, so bear with me. Um, I'm very much a beginner. Ooh, uh-oh. Okay, that doesn't stay in the base very well, does it? Okay then, now we're making messes. <laughs> Good job. Okay, I don't mind a little bit of a mess, but that's quite a mess that I just made. Oh boy. Now I'm gonna have to vacuum. <laughs> Great. Uh, I guess I should have spread some newspaper or something down here. This is supposed to hold though. I wonder if it wasn't latched properly. Oh boy. Not cool. Alright, well I'm gonna carry it from the bottom, I guess. Lesson number one. Make sure it's latched before you fill the feeder. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if it's broken. Oh, darn it. It's not going back in. I don't know if it's because there's food in there. The other one doesn't have that problem. It latched in just fine. <clears throat> I think it might be because there's already food in there and I didn't realize it wasn't latched until it was too late. Oh, come on now. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, fine. Whatever. Live and learn, y'all. Live and learn. So I guess I have to carry from the bottom. It's fine. Okay. Alrighty. Oh boy. Okay. So I'm just gonna carry it like this instead of from the top because it's falling apart. advertising. Put it on. We got our recycling bin right here. Throw it all away. Oh, here. That'll work. <coughs> we do have food farm advertising be pretty funny and quite appropriate if we had that, but we're not going to think for that because that's just not necessary. Okay. So, place that in the corner there, and the feeder on top. Got the topper here, there we go. And I'm going to grab a little bit more from the basement. <coughs> Sorry, acid reflux. <laughs> uh, try to clean up my mess. Farm life, man. It involves making a lot of messes. Like, seriously, I don't know what we're going to do with these chicks because they can't stay in the house forever. That tiny little box is only going to work for, like, a week, you know? I honestly don't know what we're going to do when they start growing. Maybe I'll just get two boxes. I don't know. But you can't put them outside too early because <clears throat> they'll just get picked off by predators, you know? And, I mean, the chickens that we already have will probably beat them up because they don't know who they are. They don't know that they're their own kids. You know, they didn't raise them. I don't know how the rooster's going to react. I would think he'd be fine because he was fine with the lavenders when we introduced them. But there's just no guarantees. You know, he could very well decide to kill them. So, can't just integrate them. We don't have a second coop. 
So they're kind of stuck in the house for a while. I would say at least until 12 weeks because they need to get big enough so that they're not going to be picked off by the cats or beat up by the other older hens or the rooster. So I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> I didn't really think that far. I mean, I kind of did, but I didn't really want to think about it because I don't really have a solution. So I guess we're just going to kind of live week week by week and see how big they get and how long they need heat. I don't even know how long they need heat. They're probably all going to die. <laughs> They're probably all going to die anyway. That's all right. All right, so spread here. There we go. So I know what it is. And grab the watering can. Not really sure how this watering thing works. Hmm. I really don't know. I'm just gonna put this back in there. Now you, what do I do with you? Huh. Well, I guess you're just supposed to fill it upside down and then attach the top. I don't know. <laughs> say it's got to be a screw in Combat that one. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be fun. Alright. You know what? I better put like a towel down. Yeah, I put a towel down because this could this could become messy very quickly. Alright, let's go with this old but absorbent one. It's gonna get pooped on. Yay. <laughs> All right. Not like a towel's gonna catch must much of that because that's a lot of water, but uh, they'll probably go through it pretty quickly, I would think. So they're growing chickens. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down.
also help insulate it a little bit. And yeah, let me double it up a little bit more. There we go. And that way, if it spills, it won't be quite so devastating to my carpet. <laughs> and it won't be as fast to uh, get right through the cardboard. Make sure the water is actually coming out. I don't want it to be uneven because the uh, chicks will just make a mess of it. They'll be jumping all over this thing. There we go, that's better. I just wonder, like, putting it in the corner might not be the smartest thing because they need to be able to get around it. So we pull it out a little bit because we got 11 chicks. I'm going to make sure they're all going to be able to eat. Right? I mean, think about it. Oh, it's leaking. Oh, shoot. Alright, I got to hang you guys up. This is leaking. 